question right now. No, I'm kidding. I know I'm guarding one of the best players in the country right now. Can you use your seven inch height disadvantage to your advantage in this game? Definitely. Uh, I feel like, you know, I'm a lot quicker than him. So getting downhill um, and the way they also play ball screens, I feel like I'll be setting a lot of open naked ball screens uh, and screens for my teammates. And then also just running him, you know, if we get a board. I mean, not if, when we get a board, you know, just running down the court and just, you know, making him use his energy. So that's why I can use my height disadvantage against them. <laughs> How do you practice for that? Just because it's such a unique situation. Like, is there any extra drills that they put up? Like, I, I'm just curious how you kind of prep for that. Well, you know, Riley is taller than me, but he's not 7'4". So I'm just trying to reenact how I would be guarding him, which is a lot of, like, you know, denying him the ball and putting him in the... Uh, difficult situations for him to catch the ball and then just trusting my teammates that they'll be uh, help side to say. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I'm just trying to reenact as Riley was 7'4". <laughs> I mean, your dad's yeah. what, seven foot, seven one? He give yes. you any tips? Uh, not for this game, but when I was younger, I remember when, we, when I played like Kentucky when I was a freshman in North Dakota, he just told me to watch Ben Wallace highlights how he guarded uh, you know, Shaq and other players. Okay. So, you know, I might have to bring out the old Ben Wallace tapes. <laughs> <laughs>